In today's video, we'll explore deductive reasoning, a common question type you'll encounter in cognitive assessments. These Sherlock Holmes type questions evaluate your ability to reason information and make logical conclusions. Together, we'll dive into some example questions showcasing effective strategies, common mistakes, and common tricks that test makers use to confuse you. This first question has two statements we assume are true. Our job is to understand them and decide if the final conclusion statement is true, false, or uncertain based on the initial two statements. As we read through the first two statements, I always like to use diagrams or other visuals to help me understand them. Billy is younger than Gilly, and Willie is younger than Billy. Notice the connection between these statements. Both mention Billy. This is the first thing to look for in these questions as it helps us connect the information. When we connect the two statements, we get Willie, who is younger than Billy, who is younger than Gilly. The conclusion statement says, Gilly is younger than Willie, and as we can see from our connected statement, this is false. Our second question has key words to focus on. These words indicate that the test is trying to trick you, so always check for words like all, none, or some. Again, we will use visuals, but this time we'll use a Venn diagram. Most mammals breathe air, so our first circle is all mammals, and the second overlapping circle will be breathing air. The second sentence is dolphins are mammals, so dolphins fit entirely into the mammal circle. The conclusion statement says all dolphins breathe air. Looking at our Venn diagram, we know all dolphins are mammals and most mammals breathe air. The problem is that our conclusion says all, but our diagram shows all with some exceptions. This may not seem important, but these exceptions make all the difference and lead our answer to be unsure. A lot of people might get this wrong if they bring their prior knowledge to the test. A defining aspect of a mammal is breathing air, so it seems like a reasonable assumption. But in this question, you must bring no prior knowledge, and if it's not explicitly stated, do not assume. Our final question is in the same style, two statements and one conclusion. For our visual, we will use arrows. Letitia is friends with Roman, Troy, and Dana. Deshaun is friends with any friend of Troy. And our conclusion, Deshaun is friends with Dana. Looking at our visuals, we see a connection, but nothing explicit. We may be tempted to group these people as one big friend group, but that would be an assumption. It doesn't explicitly say that Troy is friends with Dana, only that Letitia is friends with both of them. Since the question is not asking about mutual friends, and we have no way of knowing if the conclusion is true or not based on the information provided, our final answer will be uncertain. 